Hey everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's video, I wanna talk about what's been going on with the agency, sort of just pull back the curtains a little bit of where we're at and where we're trying to go and sort of what's my focus and also what we've been struggling with. So this video will kind of mark the start of a new series, which I think I'll be calling Road to Six Figures because uh, that's sort of the goal I have for this year is to take the agency to six figures per month or 100K per month. And so what I hope to achieve with this series is not only just for me to like kind of document what's been going on with the agency and for me to have something to look back at uh, and kind of see how we progress, but also to see how the content evolves and also hopefully to inspire a person to watching these videos to, to go after their own dreams and, and share some of the mistakes and some of the learnings I'm making in this pursuit of getting to 100K per month. So if you're new to the channel, let me just introduce myself. I'm Rasmus, I own Minix. It's a performance marketing agency where we specialize in helping e-commerce brands scale through UGC videos and paid advertising. So let's just start at the plan, right? Because if you don't know, I made a video a couple months ago titled how I'm gonna make 100K per month in 2023, or how I'm gonna scale my agency to 100K per month in 2023. And in that plan, basically, we have a couple different phases. And right now we're in the phase of just introducing what I call POTS. So this is a framework I got from a very big e-commerce group we talked with a year ago, around a year ago, that does like 500, north of $500 million a year. And so they had a very like specific way of operating, which I also want to introduce to the agency. And so we're kind of trying to systemize that with our paid ads and also our content delivery for our clients. So I have both Jack and Francisco who do does all the like paid ad side of things for clients and then Camilla, which her only job is literally just producing content, sourcing content creators for clients and making sure that she can basically just feed Jack and Francisco all the creatives they need to run profitable ads, right? And so that's one thing we're focusing on right now is just streamlining that whole process because what I've noticed is that it's uh, it's very hard to integrate and, and streamline that whole operation because when you introduce someone new to that whole paid ad side of things, there's a lot of variables both on like with client communication, it's a whole new vertical you're introducing into the business and then also communication between the media buyer and then Camilla, our head of creative. There's a lot of steps involved and, and it can cause a lot of friction. So we're still kind of trying to streamline that whole side of thing. And then the second thing we have to maximize is just the client capacity. So the goal was to get to 65K per month end of Q2, so halfway through the year with 16 clients, which is 4,000 in billing per month per client. So right now it's actually quite exciting. We're about to hit that. We're like one or two clients away, but since I run ads right now and we do a lot of different stuff in terms of outreach, that's filling up quickly. So right now we're like one or two clients away. So we'll probably hit that max capacity end of this month or like within the next few weeks. It's quite exciting because then we basically just stop enrollment for clients, which is not a, it's not a thing I've experienced before. Like having to tell clients like, no, we just don't accept any more new clients. We're fully, we're full capacity. You can join our wait list or whatever. And then after we hit that capacity, it's going to be very different, right? Cause we, I, it frees up a lot of my time. Cause I don't have to go on like five sales calls a day and making sure that, you know, I make all the looms and all these different things we're doing right now in terms of outreach is quite time intensive, which definitely will free up a lot of time for me. So I'll basically get back a lot of time that I can then allocate to different stuff and what that's gonna be, I'm not entirely sure. Once we hit that, you know, around 50, 50K, 40, 50K mark per month, you know, I'm gonna start looking for someone to also do email and SMS for our clients. So then we're gonna expand into a third vertical basically. So then we'll be doing ads, content, and also email and SMS. So focus for me right now in the business is definitely just making sure we sign the right clients and then also trying to aggressively learn. Like that's been a really big theme for us these past couple months. I think I've spent like 40, 30, 40,000 on uh, courses and whatnot and, and services just to make sure that we learn and we can evolve as a team and making sure that we can go in the right direction and just systemize things as much as possible. So I think a month ago, like and $10,000 on a new Facebook ads course, literally just to make sure that we can get more input and more and, di and a different point of view to how we run ads on Facebook. So before we bought that course, like the main, main thing we've been buying in terms of knowledge is just Google ads. That's been a real big thing, but now we kind of caught up to that. I think bought like four or five courses, bought this course for 10,000 Facebook ads. And then after that, looking at buying some something around performance creatives. 
to just make sure that we can streamline that a little bit more also how we deliver the actual content for clients. But yeah, making sure we sign the right clients, that's been a, a, a really big theme for us, at least this past month and a half. And then also making sure we learn and then push results quite aggressively. Because once we hit that cap, like there's no more clients coming in. You know, we might be replacing clients, but the whole theme for us is basically just gonna be how can we make all of our clients more money month by month, right? And making sure that we grow our clients month by month, because otherwise we'll just be stuck. So that's definitely like a, a big focus point in the business right now is, yeah, that's it. Sign the right clients and also push results. That's really gonna be the theme from April onwards. It's just gonna be increasing spend, making sure return on ad spend or the CPA is correct or where it should be, and then making sure we keep pushing the revenue so we can make more money as well, not only for ourselves, but also for the clients. Some of the struggles we've had, especially this year, I feel like it's been signing the right clients, which is also why it's a very big focus point for us right now. At least the last couple of months, there's been some audits that we've done. So our whole sales process, if you don't know, it's we'll have an audit or I'll have an audit call with a potential client. After that call, if it sounds good, I'll have the team then do an audit of their entire like ad accounts and also backend. So usually that's Shopify, but basically we'll just go through everything in the last couple, like three to six months, what they've done, how they have progressed as a business. That seems like something we can help them with and grow further at a faster pace than what they're already doing. Then we'll pitch them, right? And then we'll go on a second call and I'll kind of try and pitch the client and tell them, look, you need us, we can do X, Y, and C, and then we'll take a percentage of whatever money we make you. But last couple of months, it, it seems like we've been probably a little bit too optimistic, which is where our business model kind of falls short. Because if we sign a client that we maybe shouldn't have and we can't deliver results for, then we'll make no money, right? And we need to, on average, on 16 clients, we need to be making $4,000 per month per client to make 65K, right? And if we don't sign the right clients, then we're just not gonna hit that. Because then if, as an example, like we had a, we have a client right now or last month that we only built like a thousand euros and that's very far off, right? So we need to make up that difference with another client then. But if if we start signing too many clients, it's it's gonna be skewed. So that's definitely been a big struggle for us. It's just, we need to be more pessimistic and it's starting to naturally like happen as we get closer and closer to that capacity. Cause now like, when we can only sign one more client, like we're definitely very, very aware. Or I am at least like when we're on that call or when I'm on that call, is this a client like where I see that we can make them like five to 10K per month, right? Like I need to see a very, very big upside because it's it takes time away from all the other clients, right? And a lot of the clients we have right now, like we're actually above $4,000 per month in billing, but there's just a too big, there's too big of a disparity right now between the percentage of clients that we are billing plus 4K per month and then the ones that we aren't. So we need to get, we need to be more pessimistic about the clients we sign on. We need to say no a lot more. That's like a theme I've noticed over these last couple of months, but it definitely keeps us accountable, I will say. Because if we don't get them the results that we want for them, because then we can also make our money, like no one's just gonna win. It's just gonna be a, a bad experience overall. I will say though, one thing I'm incredibly proud for of my team is that even though we haven't been hitting or some of the clients aren't up to, to par, I would say, like or up to the standard we want them to be in terms of billing, we still do our best. It, it's just been a case of it, there either, one theme I've noticed is that a lot of the clients that don't hit the 4K per month goal is that it's usually too early for them. Like they're just too early in their business journey to sign with us. Where one th theme I've noticed that usually the clients that do around like 50K per month, like we have a very easy time scaling them from 50 to 100K, but those that do maybe like 10 to 15 or less than 10, it's just super hard. Like it's super hard getting a business from zero to 50K, but it's much easier to get them from 50 to 100K. And we just need to play that game. Like we don't need to make it any harder than it is. So that's one of the main struggles we have right now is just correct clients and something that you know, we need to be more aware of going forward. But yeah, that's sort of where we are right now. In terms of revenue, this month we'll do around 35, 40K. And then yeah, we're kind of gonna hit max capacity very, very soon and then from there, it's just, it's not a, a very big bump. Like we need to add maybe 20%, I think, in terms of average billing, and then we'll be at that like 65K a month mark. So yeah, it's it's not far off, which is quite exciting. But once we hit that capacity, like it's it's kind of gonna become like a German engineering task to, to make this as streamlined as possible, which is quite exciting for me. Cause then we don't have to chase clients, right? Like we, we can just focus on what really matters, which is the clients we have right now. So yeah, that basically sums up today's video. Just kind of wanted to give a, a very quick update on sort of what's 
what's been going on, what I'm trying to focus on right now and what we're trying to focus on as a business. In terms of when I'll be posting these journey to six figure videos. I'm not quite sure. I'm thinking like once a month. I think once a week will be a little bit too aggressive. But shout out to uh, Dennis, one of my good friends that also has this sort of similar series going on. I think his video series is called Journey to Seven Figures or something, which was a big inspiration for me. But yeah, I think once a month or when something big happens, like when we do hit max capacity, I'm sure I'll be making a video just kind of talking about that and what I'm gonna do to restructure my day-to-day -day and how I'm gonna be prioritizing my time going forward from when we hit max capacity, right? But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you found it interesting. I hope I can share a little bit more about behind the scenes and how it is actually running a business day to day and, and sort of the struggles and, and the focus points I have running my business because I love seeing those YouTube videos, at least from other people sharing their journey and their progression, trying to hit their goals. But yeah, that will sum up today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I would love to answer. And yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate that and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.